أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على أبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كثين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا فلعلك باخع نفسك على آثارهم إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا إنا جعلنا ما على الأرض زينة لها لنبلوهم أيهم أحسن عملا وإنا لجاعلون ما عليها سعيدا جرزا أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا صدق الله العظيم I take pride and joy welcoming back all of our learners, our parents, and our teachers. I would like also to extend our warm welcome to all our new applicants, all our new learners and parents. We are welcoming you to the Nizamiya family. We had a very challenging year in 2020 when the breakout of the pandemic and the beginning with the online education, it was a great challenge in terms of the change uh, to the new, uh, to the shift of the mindset. Uh, and alhamdulillah, we, we were managed to pull through last year. And I think as the school, we've, we've managed to fulfill our promises and uh, like, uh, all the uh, expectations, the, all the expectations they were, uh, they, they came true. And now, again, we are stepping into the year that for the first time, we again, we, we have to start with the year in such a different way, where again, we will not be able to, to say and welcome to all of our learners on the first day of the school. Unfortunately, we do expect that our learners who are starting their schooling career, be it in preschool, be it in grade one or in grade eight, all of those learners who would not be able to join us on the first day of the school uh, at uh, our premises due to the given circumstances. But I sincerely believe that everything will be resolved uh, in the nearest future and we will be able to receive all of our learners back to school on the school premises because whether we like it or not but uh, we sincerely believe that online and digital education can never replace the on-site education absolutely and that's why uh, we Sincerely hope that our learners will be able to return to the campus in the nearest time, inshallah. Here at Nizamia, as in the previous years, we are committed to 
quality education, to the maintaining of the Islamic ethos at our institution, to a holistic approach, and here again, as part of our uh, mission, uh, as part of our vision, we also encourage the diversity. We believe that our learners, regardless of what race, what religion, what culture and what social background they belong to, they um, enrich this environment, they enrich our family uh, and the, our, like, we only encourage the unity and diversity. With the great team of the dedicated and committed teachers, we are planning with the grace of the Almighty to continue offering our services to our dear learners, to our parents, to ensure that the holistic approach is maintained and our learners, um, they are getting, the, uh, that our learners, they are uh, achieving in both fields, whether it is uh, academic or non-academic uh, fields. I would like to thank all of our parents for your unwavering support and cooperation throughout these years. Uh, with your commitment, with your support that you offered to us uh, and your understanding that you offered to us, especially in the last year, uh, we are truly grateful for that. And we certainly believe that, inshallah, with your assistance and with continuation of this support, we will be able to uh, offer even better services to of our learners, uh, ensuring that our learners, they, uh, they grow into the wonderful individuals uh, when they finish this institution. Using this uh, opportunity, I would like to wish all the best to uh, our learners, parents and teachers for the rest of the year. I hope this year will be uh, productive uh, and uh, this year the school will uh, aim for the newer uh, heights and achievements. We are looking forward to having a challenging yet a wonderful year. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Mrs. Farhana Rabban and I'm the Deputy Principal in the Primary School and I'd like to welcome all our parents and our learners back for the academic year 2021. And I'd like to share some motivation for our learners, especially in the primary school but also in the high school. These days we find ourselves lacking motivation due to COVID-19, especially as schools have more restrictions and more regulations. And we find that learning at school is a lot harder and we are not motivated to set goals. I'd like to share a story of an ant with you. There was once a group of ants and they found a small piece of sugar on a hill. All of them decided that they were going to go up the hill to get this piece of sugar. On their way, one particular ant said, These rocks are too big. We can't do this. We need to turn around. A few of the ants listened to this ant and they turned around and decided not to go on in pursuit of the sugar. The rest decided to continue. Then it started raining. And one particular ant said, no, we cannot go on anymore because we are going to drown. So let's turn around and go back to where it is safe. So again, they turned around and went down to place of safety, except for one particular ant. He continued up the hill and eventually got to enjoy this piece of sugar. So now why did this particular ant continue up when he did not turn around with the others for the rocks or for the rain. You see, this ant could not see. He could not see that the ants were turning around. He also could not hear the discouraging discussions that these ants were having. 
So he was the only one who continued up the hill and enjoyed the piece of sugar. So, set your academic goals this year and don't get discouraged by the regulations and the negativity of the news and the negativity of others' words. Put your trust in Allah, set your intention and make dua. And then put in the necessary action plan, ask your parents or your teachers for help so that you may achieve your goal. Don't look around to see what others are doing. Don't listen to the negativities of others and don't get distracted by what others are doing. Keep your eye on the goal. I look forward to welcoming you back to school, inshallah. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you, distinguished principal, respected teachers and staff, my dear learner, and a very special welcome to our new learners. At last, this beautiful day has arrived. I am sure you all have been eagerly waiting for this day. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a wonderful year, inshallah. I know we have been going through very difficult times, but I also know that if we encourage each other and help and motivate each other, we will overcome the difficulties. It will be indeed a great pleasure seeing you all gathered at school for the morning assembly when we get back to our old routine. Without taking much of your time, I just wanted to mention that please don't give up studying if you don't want to regret in future. These difficult days will pass and a great future will be waiting for you. My colleagues and I will do our best to provide you with better education. I look forward to seeing you. Assalamu alaikum. رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سلم نبيا ورسولا والقلب في يقين يحيى على هداك ذو الجلال في علاه ما لنا سواه هو واهب الحياة فلنبتغي رضاه القادر الحليم الغافر الرحيم إن قال كن يكن سبحانه العظيم رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سلم نبيا ورسولا والكون من ضياه يستلهم 
المصطفى ربنا ارتضاه لنا كامل تمام قد جاء بالسلام والخير للأنام وأنا به رضيت وبنوره هديت سأظل ما حييت أقول في دعائي special day our hearts are full of pleasure a day that brings the two of you close together we're gathered here to celebrate a moment you'll always treasure we ask Allah to make your love last forever let's raise our hands and make dua like the Prophet taught us and with one voice let's all say say say
pain I put you through Mama, now I'm here for you For all the times I made you cry The days I told you lies Now it's time for you to rise For all the things you sacrificed Oh, if I could turn back time, rewind If I could make it undone I swear that I would I would make it up to you Mama, I'm grown up now It's a brand new Management and educators of Nizamia Primary and High School are pleased to announce that the school will be reopening on Monday, the 1st of February 2021, and we will continue with hybrid teaching for the rest of Term 1 for all grades except Grade 11 and 12. Thus, learners in Grade 11 and 12 will only receive on-site education. Similarly to last year, we will be using Google Classroom for all grades and Zoom lessons for grade double R up to grade 10. Teachers will be inviting learners into new Google Classrooms where work, notes and announcements can be found. What is Google Classroom, you may ask? Google Classroom is an online cloud storage developed by Google for schools that allows for a structured layout of teaching resources or materials and instructions along with the necessary links to videos relevant to the topic at hand. 
The primary purpose of Google Classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between teachers and yourself. All of the classwork for the grade will be uploaded onto Google Classroom platform. You do not need to print out the worksheets as you can use them on the Google Classroom platform. The student will be provided with a Nizamia email address that he or she will use to sign in into his or her classroom. Existing students will use the same email address as last year. Only Nizamia emails may be used. No personal accounts will be allowed. It is important to note that we will not be broadcasting any work on WhatsApp. We will also be making use of an app called Zoom Cloud Meeting to create a virtual classroom where our teachers will conduct lessons with our students. These lessons will be conducted strictly according to the timetable that will be sent out to all students. The teacher will send out a link to the student's email address, which will allow him or her access to the, into the virtual classroom. Parents and students should familiarize themselves with the code of conduct for online classroom. The following documents will be available to parents. The student guide on how to log onto your email, school email account. This document will have a step-by-step explanation of the process that includes images. Student guide on how to use Google Classroom. This document will have a step-by-step -step explanation of the process that includes images. And for those of you who prefer a video guide, please click on the video link below. Student guide how to use Zoom. This document will have a step-by-step -step explanation of the process that includes images. The code of conduct for online classroom for students. Please abide by the following guidelines for online behavior and interaction. It is your responsibility as a student to act ethically in your online class. Your classroom behavior is related to the issue of cyber safety, which involves how you behave or act towards others online. Cyber safety for students includes the language that they use and the things that they say, how they treat others, respecting people's properties and visiting appropriate websites. Online lessons must be via Zoom only. Follow the link provided by the hosting teacher. You must be ready when the lesson starts. You must sit at a table. You are not allowed to lie down on your bed, sofa or armchair. You must register yourself with your full name. Nicknames or initials will not be allowed. You will not be admitted into the lesson if your full correct name is not visible. Your webcam must be on when entering the Zoom lesson so that the teacher may take the register. If your camera is not on, you will be marked absent for that lesson. The webcam may only be switched off with the permission of the teacher. You are not allowed to eat, chew or drink during classes. Appropriate clothing must be worn. Sleepwear, revealing or inappropriate clothing is prohibited. You should use your microphone headsets for better sound quality. Family members should leave the room to create a more conducive learning environment. Make sure that nobody is disturbing you and minimize the background noise. Only you are allowed to join the lesson. In the case of younger students where parental assistance is required, parents may only observe. If a parent has a question, he or she should contact the teacher after the lesson via email or Google Classroom and the teacher will respond at his or her soonest convenience. You are not allowed to leave the lesson without the teacher's permission. Greetings and chatting must be done before the lesson commences. During the lesson, the teacher will mute all microphones while conducting the lesson. Do not scream out answers. Use the blue hand icon to indicate to your teacher that you would like to ask a question or give an answer. The teacher has the right to mute your microphone and disable your videos or private chats. 
always address the teacher and the students in a respectful manner, even when disagreeing. Do not send one-to-one -one messages during the lesson. Turn off your cell phones. No multitasking during class. And focus on the classroom conversation and activities. Do not join sideline chats with classmates while the teacher is talking. You are not allowed to share personal information of others and lesson links and passcodes with any third party. It is your responsibility to ensure that they have all the necessary books and materials before the lesson starts. Your parent must ensure that you are following the code of conduct for online classroom. Our teachers will conduct a meet and greet Zoom meeting with their respective classes at 11.30 a.m. Please look out for the invite link for this Zoom classroom. Orientation on the measures 
to be implemented prior to receiving any child admission program. All staff members are aware of their adaptations and or changes to the daily routine to accommodate the minimum health, and safety, health, safety, and social distance measures on COVID-19. Procedures for the drop-off and pick-up of children have been established to ensure the requirements of COVID-19 are met and will be communicated to parents prior to the opening. Daily screening questions are written on, or printed out and ready to be used. There is a scheduled place for outdoor playtime to ensure different group classes do not mix. There is natural ventilation, windows, doors that can be opened. Procedures are developed in place for management of basic hygiene practices. The isolation space for temporary containing the resident staff identified the possible COVID-19 symptoms. The school building will be found on a daily basis. All areas of use are being found and disinfected with disinfected hands of the sanitizers. Parents to ensure that learners are dropped off on time and picked up on time. The learners will be dropped off at the drop-off zones. Learners will then proceed on their own or as for the younger learners, that is the pre-primary school and foundation phase learners will be escorted to their classrooms by a teacher on duty. Parents will then be required to just drop off their learners and leave to avoid any more people, to avoid a, a, a less contact among our parents, teachers and learners outside of the school gate. Please ensure that the learners place an extra mask in their bags and enter while wearing one mask. The reason for putting two masks, uh, extra mask in the bag is to ensure that if the learner drops their mask on the floor, messes their mask with food or any other items, or the mask breaks in the, uh, during the course of the day, that the learner does have a backup mask for them. The procedure that learners will have to comply with when coming into school, learners will proceed towards the screening station where they will be screened. The questions on the screening questionnaire will be explained in detail and made uh, and to the learners during the on-site orientation. Learners will be educated as to what each question means and how the learners should identify whether or not they have a particular symptom. Learners that have a fever or any of the symptoms listed on our screening questionnaire or is identified to be ill in any other way will be kept in the isolation room and parents will be notified to collect the learner as soon as possible. Our touch of procedures and breakdown processes are as follows. Learners will be escorted outside and teachers on duty will ensure that there is constant compliance with COVID-19 regulations including social distancing and mask wearing while learners are not eating. Learners who need to eat their lunch during break time will be required to sit at at least two meter distance from the next person um, due to the fact that their mask will not be worn and they will be eating or talking while they are uh, they will be talking while they are eating. The touch up procedures are as follows. Parents will send a link for the touch up for prepared food only. All prepared food must be via must be ordered via the WhatsApp group between 2 p.m. and 7.30 a.m. All other snacks and drinks can be purchased without a pre-order. The reason for doing the pre-ordered uh, pre foods uh, via the WhatsApp group, uh, in the prepared foods via the WhatsApp group is to ensure that there is a, um, no congestion in the touch of the area due to learners waiting for, for food to be prepared and orders to be done. To, so to avoid the long queues and the number of learners waiting in the touch of area, uh, parents are required to please order all the food prior to the learner coming into school. If a learner, if a parent fails to place an order before 7 30 a.m., unfortunately, that learner will not be able to place an order at the touch shop for, for any prepared food. During break times, learners are allowed to socialize with their peers, but they need to observe social distancing. There will be no contact sports allowed at all. At the current moment, as we stand, there is no directive from us or any update on the regulation regarding contact sport. 
Therefore, there will be no budget support uh, or after school activities that will happen during school hours. However, we will still continue with physical education during the physical education period where social distance will be observed and learners will then participate in fitness activities and other activities which do not involve any contact. During the breaks, the learners, while the learners will not be able to play any soccer, basketball, cricket or netball, we will supervise them as they kick the ball to each other in a social distance circle. This is to keep the learners active and busy during break times and to prevent them from coming closer to each other and chatting and, 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 and coming in, in close contact with each other and chatting and therefore uh, does lead to better compliance with social distancing. When I say set up facilities, then that's the second part. Oh. It's finished. This is the second part. Salah, our Salah facilities, um, Salah facilities are available at school. We are still waiting once again for approval from the department as currently small gatherings and religious gatherings are not allowed under our current circumstances. A provision will be made for learners to perform Salah at school once we have better communication and direction from the Department of Education and Department of Health. That too will be communicated with parents as it happens. The World Health Organization indicates that a measure pandemic in data entails a psychological disturbance that may exceed the affected population's capacity to manage. That means that the COVID-19 pandemic could create some level of anxiety, distress, and depression, not only for adults, but for children as well. At Mizama Primary and High School, our teachers have an orientation on how to deal with the children's well-being, to identify any learners who are experiencing any levels of stress or anxiety uh, due to returning to school during a pandemic. There are many learners that we understand who have lost loved ones during this time or are experiencing parents or family members, cousins, aunties, uncles who are currently going through a difficult time struggling with COVID-19. The support structures have been put in place in this and Primary and High School for learners to be able to, to speak to their teachers and for teachers have been educated on how to identify learners who are experiencing any sort of distress or anxiety. Um, we will try to deal with it in the best possible way that we can to ensure that our learners are not only kept safe in the environment that they are in, but they also feel safe in the time during this difficult time of this pandemic. We beg to our that the Lord keeps us safe and continues to keep us safe and that we may all return to school and to normal circumstances once again, inshallah, amen. I am Raya Amitabha, the Cover Officer of Nizami Primary and High School and your sports coach. We are hoping to see you all soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله ولك الملك كله بيدك الخير كله على نعته وسره اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يذل من وليت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب 
ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم إنك أخو كريم تحب العفو فاف عنا اللهم إنك أخو كريم تحب العفو فاف عنا وصلى الله على خير خلقه محمد وعلى عاله وصحبه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين